I think it's really interesting because um, genomics is always portrayed as being um, very complicated and so there are lots of genetic events but actually most of them don't count and it's the limited number that really define the disease and direct its behaviour that we refer to as the drivers and so we've done a genome-wide initiative to find as many drivers as we possibly can in multiple myeloma and we've found mutational drivers and copy number changes that are functioning as drivers. And so basically we've annotated a list of about 60 of these genes, um, taken those, then run them through a multivariate analysis to find the ones that correlate with prognosis and then condense it all down into the simplest model that you can find that describes prognosis. And it's really very easy. There are basically three markers um, that together with clinical factors define a very high risk group of patients that have a prognosis that is abysmal in the modern world for myeloma where we can try new therapies and we heard in another session about the great advances being made with CAR T cells and bispecific antibodies. You put the two together, do the necessary um, legislative work with the um, approval bodies and you have a way of identifying patients when they first present and then directing a new therapy to them that really may make a difference. And so it's a very simple concept really. And uh, Keith coined the term two-hit myeloma because really there are only two major genetic changes that you need to identify and incorporate into this uh, prognostic index. And that's mutations in P53 and amplification of a region on one key. So simple idea, but very profound impact for patients.